All right, just finishing up the skull. Somebody let me know my eye sockets were too big. Well, it's because I wasn't finished with the skull yet. And, uh, gonna try to get my hand in here around the camera. I'll be right back and I'll be working on my base today and then I'm going to try to do that uh, hoof that's missing on the uh, front of the leg right here and uh, this piece will be pretty much done well no I got the arm to do of the warrior so I got a little work to do yet not quite done yet time to play with some clay I'm just gonna put a little lighter fluid on there, Ronsonol, lighter fluid, and just take down the uh, roughness a little bit. Okay. Just uh, attaching the uh, new hoof to the armature. Somehow I it knocked off, and uh, when I saw the little piece of clay sitting on the table, I thought it was just a little lump of clay. 
<laughs> I threw it away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. I've probably made a thousand hoofs in my time. By the way, I show how to make a good hoof in my instructional videos on horses, creating a horse. I've got a couple of those. If you're uh, interested in sculpting horses and you haven't tried it yet, or you have and gotten frustrated, maybe getting one of my instructional videos would help you. I've uh, put together videos of different sculptural techniques and stuff like that that basically I taught myself over the last over 50 years and if you don't want to spend 50 years getting to where I am now and you want to get some little hacks that uh, will help you improve your sculpting you might check out my uh, review of my videos down in the com in the uh, area just below the uh, video here on YouTube. Put a shock of grass right here. I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, make all this prairie grass castable. Right now, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but. I'll have to figure that out when time comes. Okay, this is a last I'm going to do today because I'm running out of time this afternoon. And uh, I had to go to my storage unit today, so it took quite a bit of my time. Anyway, I won't be here tomorrow. And I will be here Monday. And I'll be working on his hand and his arm at that time. 
And that should just about do it on this piece. And uh, I'll also evaluate how I'm going to do the top part of the grass there too. Anyway, I'm going to put a few rocks on here like he's coming down into a, a wash, a, a, a riverbed. And there'd be a few rocks in here. I don't want to do too many because uh, it would be less is better than a lot or something like that. I think I'm going to put that rock down here. All right. Well, I'm happy with how this is turning out. I'm happy with the skull of the buffalo. And, uh, I'm, I like the design of it, where it's at. All right, that's going to be it for today. And I'll see you guys next week. I'm liking the way this is turning out. Let's do a couple more rocks here at the base. Got to do some small ones, too. I like putting them down here. It kind of makes the uh, end to the uh, bottom part or the front edge of the uh, sculpture. All right, have a good weekend, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.